Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me once again. They had a 6.1 earthquake um, at the mouth of the Gulf of California, and this could have some serious consequences for Mexico. It occurred in an area called the Riviera Plate. The Riviera Plate is known to have caused large earthquakes, magnitude 8 and larger, uh, for the areas of Mexico. It used to be originally part of the Cocos Plate, which then separated, and is currently um, subsiding underneath the North American Plate. This area has caused the largest earthquakes in Mexico, including the one in 1932, which was an 8.2, with an aftershock of a 7.8. Then in 1995, there was a 7.6 in Jalisco, and in 2003, a 7.8. So here we have the 6.1. Here we got Jalisco. Now we know we have movement on this fault line. Uh, this is where we got the North American plate um, moving southwest, where we have the Pacific plate moving north, northwest. The lines that go up from the top right corner, uh, say down to the bottom left, those are areas of spreading where new land is being formed. So my concern is, will it have an effect for a larger earthquake in Mexico? Or is it going to go up along the East Pacific Rise, which runs into the San Andreas Fault Zone? Will they have a larger earthquake in Baja, California? Or down here um, by uh, San Diego? This earthquake was so close to the edge of the boundary between the Riviera Plate and the Pacific Plate it's really hard for me to judge what is going to happen. On Geoscope, they said it was a magnitude 6.2. They're showing that during the earthquake, the fault line or the plate moved south-southwest. You can see it there. And then also the other side of the plate moving uh, west-northwest. Geoscope also has four shocks and that occurred before the earthquake. And they had this small one yesterday, which was a magnitude 4.1, same depth, 10 kilometers. And this is in the area of the Riviera Plate. The green line is the motion of the American Plate, North American Plate, and the Pacific Plate. The red lines here is the spreading where new land is being developed. Yeah, we also got a little line there, too. So the 6.1 occurred at about 1.46 Pacific Standard Time, whereas the 4.1 occurred just 29 hours earlier. And as you know, any earthquake has a 5% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. Yeah, this was a fairly significant earthquake. I would be aware of the uh, uh, possibility of a large earthquake, like I said either up here in Baja, California, or down here in Mexico. This one is really hard to call because of the location right on that boundary. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your support. Thank you for sharing my videos. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.